is up, people? Welcome to Inside Esports. I am Brody Moore, and today we are talking some European Smash Ultimate. And on the couch to keep it out, we got Drew Face and Mies. How's it going, boys? I'm I'm so good, baby. I got my boy Mies on the corner right here. Give us so, all that Smash Info. So excited to be back with my boy Drew. You, Brody, man. Yeah, you, guys. Like, you too. Fantastic. You're you know, right. you like right, sometimes. You know what? I'm really just here for Drew. I need, some really time, <laughs> I need some time to cry, so why don't we roll some highlights and get hyped for some Albion 4. Again, brute forcing his way through things with that bike. Very easy game so far. Let's oh, it goes for the wasp, but it oh. still gets the KO. Okay, game one going to Gluttony. Oh my I, was, I was about to say, right, so is that death percent, but he might still be at KO percent. There it is. Wasp. Yes, and there it is. Yeah. He wants to get yeah. this, get this victory. Easy. I can see a wasp being in trade. And there it is, the untackable. Really, really smart from Gluttony. He knew that was the prime position, and now he will advance into Grand Finals. Righto gets the ca oh, wow. just goes for an ambitious down air. Yeah, he nearly got the read as well, you know. Oh my god! Especially since he hasn't been able to tackle that much damage, but all the Pikmin are now gone. Yeah, he just threw away all of his Pikmin there uh, with the side Bs rather than now there's the old smash. Yep. And the boss taking game two. Yeah, bounces off. Great up air from the buzz, but oh, there. Tech, Great yeah. tech as well. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Oh, and he fakes Takes him out it. and scares him into air dodging. The air dodge doesn't go to ledge, and that'll be Raito out at third place. There's an up slash. Hit him behind. Again, that's the power. Oh, my days. The buzz is defensive decision making in these situations. That's a that's kill. That's a kill. Very, very nice. Excellent bracket reset. Every little hit helps. If he can get the KO here, is that gonna That's be it? it? Yes, it is! 2-1 to Glutony. Down there. And there's, a waft. Waft. there's a waft! There's a waft! And there it is! Your Albion champion, Albion 4, taken by Glutony. Finally, he is able to overcome his demon. Gluttony is absolutely nasty. He won Albion 4 by literally farting on dudes. Now, boys, Drew Face, Mies, we are talking about it. Warriors 2 OP now. It's, it's official. No, 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 okay, no. All right, let me, let me say this, all right? The Smash community has this, I don't know, habit. Whenever a character wins a tournament, no matter how good or bad they are, everyone's like, man, this character needs a nerf, this character blah, 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 this guy's carried. I'm, I'm tired of it. Wario's fine. Leave him how he is. When was the last time we saw Wario win? Exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly, dude. Thank you. Exactly, dude. We tweaked it a couple things early on in, in, uh, in Ultimate, but other than that, it's like, the character hasn't done anything. No. So shut up. He needs to shut up. Look, I hate how Twitter is a hive mind. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I don't care if it's a flavor of the month. Glutiny deserves the credit for the victory. Yep. Mm -hmm. That man worked hard to do it. Man was clapping and farting on fools all day. And he's been uh, doing it since Brawl yeah. and Smash 4 when mm -hmm. Mario wasn't even that great of a character. Yeah. Yeah. Just now the character's better, so he's getting better results. He's been good for ever. Yeah. So people need to. Sh they gotta push. calm down. Yeah. yeah. We gotta give credit to where credit is due. Exactly. My man Glutiny, you are the king. Well, let's give credit to him right now. What, what, what was he doing? Why was he able to take this dub? Again, it's just he's been playing Wario for so long. Mm -hmm. Wario, Soul Main. He has been playing this character since Brawl 10 years, 10, 11 years. Yeah. He just has this deeper understanding of what this character can and can't do, that nothing he does is really unsafe. He rarely ever gets punished for anything. Yeah. He just has such a mastery over his character that you don't see it from anyone else, really. Uh -huh. And I think that's why he's able to beat people who are better than him. Um, on a consistent basis, man. Are, He's crazy. Are, are there any other characters he could jump to that's like, you know, are actually OP and uh, like with his play style? Or do you think he's kind of stuck to that warrior at this point? No, he could play Captain Olimar. He, we saw a little success with him early on mm -hmm. with Captain Olimar, especially at Summit. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, he's not a bad player. He's actually one of the best European talents like in the Smash Ultimate. I think he had a Falk. He pulled out a Captain Falcon yeah. at uh, Albion as well. So mm -hmm. there you go. Like he's, he, it's not just Wario. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. that this guy's naturally inclined to play Wario because he's been playing, like you said, Wario for such a long time. Of course, no one's gonna figure him out. Mm -hmm. He's so intuitive with the character, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got I got to talk about the, the crowd right now too because like when Gluttony finished off the buzz, like the European crowd just went nuts and like swarmed it. Like how how like hype is this region right now? Because obviously we, we look at Smash as being like a, a North American kind of thing, but like that region like they're hyped too right now. The thing about Europe is Europe doesn't get any or any I could think so, of. So so anything they Smash do get. They just pop up. Exactly. Yeah. Anything they do get doesn't matter because uh, Albion was in London. Gluttony's from France. Yeah. So the fact that the like f the English crowd um, crowd was popping off for him, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. Because again, Europe doesn't get anything. This yeah. is the first major they've had in I think 
forever. I think it was the biggest Smash tournament they've ever had. Yeah, so yeah, they were yeah. just excited that they were getting something at all. Well, <laughs> they, yeah, 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 yeah. they didn't care who won as long as they were European. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the thing, right? And across all FGCs, mm -hmm. it's like Japan and North America get all the attention. But what about Europe? Yeah. Europe has such a great scene. And the best part is they're super tight knit because mm -hmm. Europe by nature is a really small continent, much closer and smaller than North America. We yeah. need to we need to ship you over there, Drew. I feel like it's like with your, my boy, with my gloves, right? Yeah, I feel, <laughs> I feel, I feel like it's just I feel like it's just like that. That's that's your crowd. Yeah, you'll you'll be ready to pop off oh, there. Oh, absolutely, man! Shout out to my boy Spag. No, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So, anyways, I want to talk about uh, you're talking about the buzz and uh, it's Olimar too right now. But uh, Olimar did get some nerfs, right? So he's, I think he's been feeling a little bit lost. Um, he's been talking about uh, Rosalina and, and he's waiting for Hero right now. Can we just talk about the the nerfs we saw from Oliver? I feel like it was appropriate and much needed because there were a lot of people complaining about Olimar being in that top eight in the in the first place. So a lot of the nerfs, one of the nerfs that Olimar received was that they made his uh, hitbox bigger, yeah. so okay. that he's actually easier to hit. You can actually but hit. Him. The yeah. problem is, yeah. they didn't adjust his shield size. So his hitbox, his physical hurtbox, is actually bigger than his shield. Mm -hmm. So even if he has a full shield, you could technically still hit him. Okay. That's one of the big yeah. things that they did. Why a lot of people are kind of starting to Wait, shy away from ultimate. You can hit him through full shield. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Yep. They adjusted his Nintendo baby. <laughs> Nintendo man. That's all it is. That's all it is. It, I think it's a little like force. Uh, like they 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 forgot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like they forgot to adjust it. It's a little force like that was lacking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So so let's let's talk about that. I mean, like just in Smash. Like obviously the newer Smashes had um, some patches here and there. Like in Smash 4. You know, I, I come from Melee where there's literally no <laughs> no patches at all. Um, so like now that you know we're 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 deep into this game, we're having some patches come later. Do you like to see the consistent patching and change of the meta, or do you think it, they should try to keep it as close to the original product they put out? I personally think that you should patch your game maybe once a year because you want to make sure that the talent that is built around your game gets developed because you never know how much the player develops the meta because mm -hmm. that's what happens. The yeah. player develops the meta, yeah. not the game developer. The game developer, yeah. all they do is they adjust it and it changes the tides. But if you want that meta, you want your game to evolve, the mm -hmm. player has to do it. Yeah. And I'm, to kind of go off what you're saying there, a lot of the times we see characters that aren't busted or aren't you know super good, but we see a player like MK Leo, who yeah. just take that character to another level. That everyone thinks the character is broken, then everyone cries for nerfs, and then the character does get nerfed, and then it's like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I kind yeah. of agree what yeah. Drew's saying. The character, the players push the meta, not the not the developers. Yeah. So well, I, again, as a melee guy, 100% yeah. agree with that. I mean, yeah. we're seeing you know new things and new tech be yeah. developed 15 years later in a game like that. Do you th like? Are you, are you opposed 100% then to patches in a game like this and say it's just the players that will push? I mean, there's a lot of characters. Eventually, yeah. you're going to have some new metas develop. Like, you don't, I personally don't think you need patches that often. For, no. certain, for certain things like the Olimar thing I just told you, yeah, yeah. That's, that's something that needs to get patched. The shield needs to work properly. Okay. And there are a couple characters, you know, guys like K. Rule and Isabel. So, where do we draw the line, like though? Of, I don't of, know. It's right? hard. Like, who it's gets hard. to decide? Like, who in the community gets to go to Nintendo and say, okay, this and this needs fixed? Fix that. That. Well, I, to be honest with you, a lot of other game developers, they they patch based on stats, based on frequency of things used, just mm -hmm. because they want to see the meta shift, right? So I feel like with Smash Ultimate, because there's 77 characters, that's really hard to balance. So I mm -hmm. think they should patch it maybe once a year, and that patch should just be bug fixes. It shouldn't really okay. do anything like impeding on the game balance. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I, 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 again, I, I come from that that, that, <laughs> yeah. that background of not having any. Now, yeah. we're almost at time, but I do want to just touch on uh, CEO mm -hmm. um, and just how uh, Smash uh, had that, that headliner spot. So, you know, just looking at the world of just FGC overall and, and Smash, what's this saying about the state of Smash right now? Is this, you know, like uh, Smash going tier one? I think so. Yeah. I, I actually think Smash has always been tier one. Mm -hmm. It has its tier one numbers. It's just that because of the lack of game developer support, That's it can't. It, it's yeah. not tier one actually, but it gets the tier one numbers, right? It gets yeah. the viewership. It gets the 10 D. It's just missing that game developer support. Mm -hmm. you, you agree with that, or I, you, you think it's got a bit to go? Um, I still think it has room to grow, but because of what you said, if Nintendo, like I think Smash could be like the biggest fighting game in the world. Yeah. If it isn't already, but Nintendo just doesn't. It's accessible. Exactly. Yeah, right. That's yeah. exactly why. Side B, baby. That's it. <laughs> that's all you gotta do. Has recognizable characters, you know, Mario, Pikachu, Kirby, all these characters. And if Nintendo just gave the support, like how Capcom supports Street Fighter or how like Namco supports Dragon Ball, and we had like a Smash World Tour type of thing, like Smash could be the biggest game yeah. in the world. In all honesty, I honestly think that. 
I don't think we're ever going to get there. Oh, yes. no, no. Unfortunately. That's so sad. <laughs> Unfortunately. Sad note that ended off on. Okay, it's well, just like the potential is definitely there. You know what? At least for now, what we can do is we can play some Smash. So we're going to have to go <laughs> do that, get some money matches in, you guys. Sure. Yeah. Let's get body free. Yeah.